everyone, today I will be showing you how you can attach a rod to the middle part of a wall hanging or any other macrame project. Let's get started. I've just gone ahead and attached some rope to a dowel rod using a lark's head knot and then I tied just a couple rows of square knot just so I can kind of show an example of how you would incorporate a rod into a wall hanging. Our first step is to bring in our little rod or stick, whatever you're using, and we're going to just kind of place it where we want it to go. Then we're going to take our first cord, so the one here on the far left, and it's coming up from behind my rod. I'm going to take that string and send it around to go over. You'll notice I formed a loop. We send the rope around and through that loop and I just give it a nice gentle tug and this is kind of where I can place where I want it to go then using that same rope I bring it in front to go around over my dowel rod and through the loop and I pull it tight So all we are doing is making a double half hitch knot using our rod as our filler cord. So I bring my next rope, comes from behind, to go up and around through the loop where I give it a nice gentle tug to tighten. Using the same rope, I bring it in front to go around and through the loop and I pull it tight. Bring that rope behind, curl it up and over, around and through, send it up and over and around and through and I pull it tight. just like that. Now I'm going to skip a few ropes and I'm going to use the three here on the right end. So doing the same steps, I just take that rope here, curl it over and around to go through the loop, pull it nice and tight, take that same rope over and around and through the loop. And again, just pull it tight. And there you go. So this is how you can add a stick or a rod or whatever you have to the middle part of a wall hanging. This is just a way that you can add fun texture and designs to take your wall hangings and maybe plant hangers to a whole nother level. This is also a really popular method if you are making a macrame owl because you can make it look like the owl's feet are attached to a stick. I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.